in this setup here, I uh, create a circuit that consists of uh, one register, one static RAM, um, three state buffers, and a 555 timer. And here, this is the 2114 static RAM. It's uh, 1024 words, uh, four bytes, four bits per word. And here are the three state inputs and outputs for the memory. Here is a 555 timer. Uh, I tried to make it one hertz as accurate as possible, but it's 1.001, I think. And here is the four bit bidirectional shift register. It's a 74LS194. Here are the output indicators. Here, this is controlling the, this is the address choice. Here are the inputs, and this is, uh, on the left is the right enable, and uh, on the right is chip select. They're active low, both of them. And for this circuit, I will demonstrate how static RAM works by writing the gray code to the first um, first so the first five memory locations memory locations five through four okay, I'll turn on the power and see address zero we will screen read mode in gray code uh, is binary zero is a zero so we'll write that zero so far now we'll go to address one that's one write it to ram you can see there's a one right there as in oh um by the way this register i set into parallel load mode Now up to two. Uh, binary two is a three in gray code. I'll write that thing around. Oh yeah, that's um, positive as triggered. So when that lights up, we'll load that in. Three, it's two. Right to the RAM. Address for now. Four in gray codes of six. Around. Address five. Five in gray code is seven. Write that to me. Get that right. Now let's read them back from zero through five. Address zero. Zero. One. One. Two. That's three. Address three. That's good. Address four is a six. Address five, seven. Address. address six should be nothing at all because we didn't write to it yet. And that's it. Static RAM doesn't need any clock pulses. The data is retained in the static RAM as long as you have power.